Hey all, let's fight. Not me and you. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want, but I don't want to. Don't hurt me. Harney, our commander in the far west in Arkansas, has just surprised gotten the drop on the Missouri State Guard, his oldest nemesis. The Confederacy fields 9,000 men under the command of Brigadier General Parsons. Uh, Harney should have, I think, about twice that number. Something like that. A little more than twice. Harney commands 19,000 men. This is a great chance for us to put another whooping on the, uh, the Missouri State Guard and uh, teach him what's what. Especially as Harney is expanding his control of Arkansas, having recently taken Little Rock. Alright, let's check out. Alright, so there's two victory locations there. It looks like they start with them. Harney, let us put you in March columns for marching. Uh, I guess we'll just start you right up here, because I want to hit the... I, I just want to hit the, uh, the, the Gl Glenview Pike and go right into Germantown. So we'll just set you up like that. It'll take you a bit to get there. You're going over some rougher terrain, so we're not going to go super fast. We outnumber the enemy. We're in no rush. We'll just have a leisurely stroll as I speed time way up. What's the weather like? Partly cloudy, 91 degrees, that's a warm day. Is it humid? That's what gets you. It's the humidity that gets you. Uh, well, let's come up. Okay, darkness has fallen. Alright, so guys are resupplying that need to resupply. We'll just move all of our units up to here. And then start time up. We're not really going to build any supply crap. Some of these units are a little worn out. Some of them have morale issues because you're a bitch. Anderson, get your guys to quit being a bitch. Check out that Mississippi rifle. We got two brigades with Mississippi rifles in this army because we captured so many from the Confederates. Hey, there's Meade, our first division commander. There's Mansfield, our second division commander. And then we've got old Greg as a cavalry commander and Merritt. Both have been very good. You see Merritt's got like three stars. His units got four stars. Uh, old Greg's got three stars. His unit's got three stars. We got some units. They got a fair amount of experience. In fact, old Harney here, he's got like two stars even. So let's just keep moving forward till we find the enemy. March in early 5 a.m. Man, I guess that's rough. I don't want to get up. Can I, can I wait to fight till noon? No, you're going to get up right now. You got your fighting chores to do. Okay, I think that's an entrenchment there that we could see for a moment. My guess would be that some of them are set, and it would be smart, that some of them are set on the west side of the river. We're just going to keep bringing it down past the Mitzpah Cemetery. Oh, okay, now we can see the enemy. They wisely have built fortifications across the two, across the ford and near the bridge. I have no intention to attack across there. How much artillery have they got? Uh, was that, 15 guns? Well, I guess our two main choices then is we either go north and cross the ford, or we take this victory location and see if they're dumb enough to come attack us. Mead, uh, put your guys into battle lines. Mansfeld, put your guys into battle lines. Merritt, scout up here. Old Greg, scout over this way. Let's just see what we can see. Chop, chop! I don't know if they'll care, but we have the better victory point on our side. Ours is worth 10 points. Theirs is only worth 5. Is there another place? I mean, I, we could forward way 
south of there, but I do not want to do that. And we definitely do not want to attack across the river. Where the hell are you idiots going? No, what are you... What are you morons doing? No! Like this! Your force... Forming battle lines facing the wrong way? Meat, are you high? Are you on the opium? Just say nopium to the opium, bro. That shit's not good for you. And it don't make me happy either. Uh, Merit. I mean, it makes me not happy for him to be on. I've never been on opium. <laughs> Before you get the wrong idea. Uh, Merit, cross the river up there. Yeah, Mead, let's get you set up here. If we could get your artillery... In fact, we could probably move you forward a little more. Yeah, like that. Or like this. So your artillery will hopefully have a shot at the enemy. And then we'll just engage long range to start with. Once we take Fulton's Gap, we'll see if that's enough to convince them that they need our victory location. If not, I don't know. We might have to pull back and go all the way to the north. Oops, I sped it up a little faster than I meant to. Oh, we're starting to take the victory location. Anderson's men are unstable. And I'm sick of their shit. We have taken Fulton's Gap. Uh, the victory location here. Some of our men are pretty discombobulated. I don't know where the hell they're going, but... And artillery, get up here. And Anderson, y'all settle down, bro. I tell you what, Anderson. What if I have you guys build some breastworks? Will that make you feel better? So what you can do, and we haven't done it yet, is you can tell people... Like, the breastworks don't exist here yet. So this is where we want to have them build them. And right now, our unit is going to go to work constructing the breastworks. And you can get perks to be better at that. Most of the perks I've picked have been fighting perks. Well, there's one perk, the sharpshooter ones. And so these guys are going to start building defensive positions in front of them. Uh, Y'all can use this fence as a defensive position. A D. Fen sub position. Ah. Oh man, this 24 pounder don't have no good shots here. What about if you move up here? Or... And then we're getting Merit to cross the fort all by himself. So you can see these guys are busy constructing. Our breastworks. Once they're done, then we'll have some protection. And I believe this unit here, Morgan's too. Yeah, once they get here, they might start working. Yep, they're working on it too. I'll see if we can get Thomas back here to come help them work on it. Uh, artillery, work on counter battery fire. Their artillery is shooting at you. Uh, other artillery unit. Can we just get you, like, right up here? And start blasting on theirs? And then hopefully these guys... Yeah, are gonna take cover by the fences. The fences should give them some cover. Maybe not great cover, but something. There you go, boys. Build some defenses here. And as long as the enemy is just going to leave us to this, that's what we're going to focus on. You know, if you want to give us the opportunity to build a defensive position while we hold this, I mean, I'm all for that. We are taking more casualties than them, though, by uh, account of their artillery. 
Hopefully Roberts will silence some of their artillery. Um, Merritt, do you... D How big is this brigade? Stafford's brigade? Oh, that's... It's a little big. I don't want to send you too far by yourself. So we know they're shooting here at Newton's Brigade, who has a little bit of cover from the fence. And they're shooting at Robert's Howitzers. Hopefully, we can get Ord set up here. And he will hopefully have a counter-battery shot at maybe Jones' battalion. Oh, man. What kind of weapons you got, Merritt? Will you shoot 12 rounds a minute? Where's our other cavalry officer? Old Greg. I know this is way around... Go join the other cavalry. I know you gotta go way, way, way out of the way. We might try and get both of our cavalry units out of there. How much... Uh, Musketoon's got a poor fire rate. If we could get both of them together over here, we might be able to drive their artillery out. Come on, Ord. Get set up. Hopefully you can get a shot on this artillery. I know it sucks we gotta get so close. How's their defensive position coming, boys? Oh, you can see some of its build already. Yeah, keep it going. Alright. Newton's Brigade seems to be doing okay. They've lost 13 men, which sucks, but it could be worse. Ugh, this angle sucks. Get right up here, Ord. On the double. I want you to be able to hit that artillery. I want you to do counter-battery fire. I know we don't have the best cannons. We're building them. We're slowly getting them out to units. But we kind of want to shut this stuff down. You want... Fuck it. Merit. I want you to come right up here. And just blast into the enemy. I know you might fight superior odds, number-wise, but you have got carbines that shoot with a much higher fire rate. And then that being said, uh... Ord, you can stop and just shoot at the infantry. Shoot at whoever you want. And hopefully old Greg has gotten his orders. Yep, he's starting to work his way around. I love this little detail, the nice little water wheel here. We got a mill house. Alright, Newton, why don't we have you build some breastworks too? Um, okay, I wasn't sure if it was showing up. Yeah, you guys work on it. Benham, you can move up. Let's build some breastworks closer to the front. So we have more protection. Eventually, I'd like to be able to put our artillery behind some. Alright, Merritt, are you ready to go? I know we're asking a ton of you, Merritt. You're, you're, you're away from everybody else. Uh, you're going to be facing infantry in bigger numbers. But their weapons will not shoot as fast as yours. Yeah, there you go, Ord. Blast these mofos. Oh, he does have a shot on the other battalion. Ooh, he can shoot at the other battalion. And by that, I mean artillery battalion. There you go, old Greg. Get your booty over there. How goes that breastworks, y'all? I think sometimes the, like, I think we were further along on this. I think sometimes it glitches out where it's done, but it doesn't show properly.
Because you can see right here, Anderson's men have cover for Breastworks. In fact, we could give them... We're not going to, but... Uh, is it Ace of Spade? That gives you cover for fighting behind stuff. We're going to give them Sharpshooter, though. I want more accuracy. Yes, this is exactly what we want to see, Merritt. We've got our artillery shooting at their artillery battalion. Jones's Battalion of the Confederacy. From one side. Well, as Merritt has bravely taken his men to attack them from the other side. Jones's Battalion of the Confederacy has already lost over half their men. Oh, there they go. Run away, little man. Well, we got Keys and Newton working on another breastworks that's further up. Man, if old Greg... he still got a ways to go. I was going to say, if old Greg was across the river, I would just have him join Merritt and moving forward. Because that's the great thing about these carbines with high fire rates. These poor guys trying to build breastworks under enemy fire. I have faith in you. I know it probably sucks, guys, but you can do it. Alright, old Greg is already most of the way there. Not all the way there. In fact, can we just add to his orders at the end? There we go. How are we doing victory point wise? So we, we've taken more casualties than them. We've taken 252, they've taken 200. So far casualties are pretty light. Must mean Roberts. Oh, for a moment there, you saw the little targeting circle that we were circling, or we were targeting Higgins' battalion. They've taken minor casualties. Where you at, old Greg? Yeah, just keep on coming around. Once you're in spot, then we'll have, I think, the cavalry push here, and we may even try to cross the bridge. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth being that aggressive. I just have a ton of faith in Merritt. I know this might be famous last words. He's already at level 2 mounted rifles, meaning that his reload time is negative 50% when firing on horseback. These guys are very good with their guns. You're not retreating here, are you? Anderson, Anderson's men this whole day are like, we're just having a bad day. We're really nervous. I think they finished the breastworks. Nobody's working anymore. So I'm pretty sure the breastworks are done. Just sometimes it glitches out and it doesn't look like they're done. I wish they'd fix that. Unless I'm wrong about it. But I, I can't work on it anymore, so it's got to be done. And you can see that these guys have strong... Uh, or they have breastworks cover. They've got good protection. Ooh, Thomas can get a perk. You'll get sharpshooter too? As in also? Mead, get some of your guys to settle down. I'm sick of their unstable attitude. Tell them to get, like, real stable. 
Be like, bitch, get real cool. <laughs> oh, here comes old Greg. Alright, old Greg, once you're in a position, we'll give you and uh, Merit the orders. Uh, Benham, come on down here. What are you, second division? Yeah, second division we might have start to cross the bridge then. At about the same time. What do we got on here? Stafford's Brigade, pretty good size brigade, 2,800 strong. I think there's another infantry brigade in there somewhere. Yep, Low Ray's Brigade, which is 3,100 strong. That's a pretty good size brigade. Alright, so Merit, I want you right here. Old Greg, I want you right behind the enemy line. Ooh, are they coming out? What's Finnegan's Brigade doing? You fools! Do they not realize Calvary's coming up behind them? They might take some cover on this fence right here. Old Greg and Merritt are waiting on their orders. That looks like the that's interesting pathing. The messenger's on his way. That must be the messenger for the other unit. Oh, they're gonna come and try and get across this bridge. A uh, Newton on the double. Benham. Let's get you over here. If they want to get near that bridge, that's going to be great for us. Either way, hopefully Merritt's going to catch Stafford's Brigade unsupported. Oh, and low... Okay. Yeah, Merritt, don't get too close. Hopefully old Greg will have his orders really soon. What do we got here? McBribe's division is moving. Okay, Anderson, I need your guys to settle down. You've got massive range with these guns, and we need to take advantage of it. Same with Morgan. Let's just move up there, shoot across the river. This is a bit of a jumble. Keys, get your men facing the right way. Newton. Over here. On the double. There you go, Keys. Get set up. Shoot these boys if they try and cross the bridge. You see Merritt's in... Oh, did Merritt just get killed? No! Merritt has fallen. Not only does that hurt morale, we lost one of our better cavalry commanders. That is rough. Merritt was the hero of so many battles. That makes me so mad. You sons of bitches. Come on, Merritt. It's Unit and Greg. Kill these bastards. How dare they have killed Merritt. Yeah, there we go. Anderson with these nice Mississippi rifles. They don't shoot fast, but they got super good range. Venom, cross that bridge. I'm filled with fury now. Keys, cross that bridge. Ah, uh, Newton, get up on the fence there, on the double. It is time to once and for all... Well, I don't know if we're gonna... They're actually gonna get away, probably. But let's kill as many of these assholes as we can. They have torn our country apart. They killed Merritt. They have been a problem since the beginning of the war. 
Commanders report the enemy seems to be retreating from the field. Keep blasting their asses. Prepare to get ass blasted. I'm so mad that we lost Merritt. Merritt was such a good commander. And if there's one place where we don't have enough good commanders, it's in the cavalry. Like, his unit will still be good. They'll retain the four stars. They're an elite unit. They may not like their new commander, though. It's, it's going to be hard finding a new guy. Ooh! There you go, Benham. Uh, swing around when you can. Yeah, blast Finnegan's brigade. I want you to kill as many of these traitorous jerk heads as you can. I don't know if we can make this a major victory. Probably not. Keys. Get right there. Anderson's men have been unstable the entire battle, but I gotta say, Anderson has kept them fighting. They haven't broken. Like, he's done a pretty good job. Yeah, Keys, get up here. Who is it? Stafford's Brigade? Get them. Oh, they're wavering now, too. And Maris Brigade, just keep shooting them. Shoot them all. I am so mad. No more wounded, no more killed. Oh, we got another victory location. It'll be a minor victory. We'll take it. Costly one, though, when you lose a commander of that caliber. The enemy has withdrawn orderly from the field. We lost 749 men. The enemy lost 1,100. Considering the enemy only had, I think, 9,000 men, that means they lost over a ninth of their army. Old Greg has become famous and an inspiration for his men due to his battle honors. Good job, Old Greg. You deserved it. Victory at Danville. Missouri State Guard withdraws. We captured 533 rifles, 8 guns, and 158 more enemy troops. Uh, you can see this area all became blue, because we just kicked the crap out of the Missouri State Guard, which is going to be retreating very soon. Uh, high offers to the casualties? Yeah, we've taken a lot of those of late. Oops, this isn't what I wanted. I didn't want the other siege. I guess we're going to put Mr. Rufus Saxon in charge. Um, of Merritt's old brigade. It's a shame to see Merritt go. I guess he was a hero for the cause. At the risk of being repetitive, which you've already been. Uh, we just lost one of our better commanders. Let's get a policy while we're at it. Let's get more occupation administration. Each level of this project will further increase support of our nation in conquered states and territories. It's basically having a better administration in the southern states that we've conquered meaning that there'll be more support for us in parts of the South, or less hate for us in less parts of the South, which also should make it harder for the South to recruit people. Where are you going, Missouri State Guard? Looks like they're zipping out of there because I just sped things up. Are they going to be foolish enough to get stuck by one of our forts in a siege? Because that would degrade them even further. Uh, Harney, come here. They, they might be trapped. 
as they're trying to get away from Harney, it might be the most logical place for them to go is that way, but then they're going to hit the forts. We're just going to have Harney get up on them and see if he can keep driving them out. Glorious victory at Fredericksburg! This is one of our two sieges in the east in uh, Virginia. We've captured 1,300 rifles. We've captured a bunch more prisoners. Good deal. Glorious victory at Fredericksburg. Hampton Division. Oh, that means we won both of the sieges, it looks like. My guess would be when the first siege fell, that almost immediately after that, our units were able to help out the other siege. So we're going to see the enemy troops here continue to push further into Virginia. Uh, what do we got here? Custer? No, that's done. I don't want done. Where's the Army of Pennsylvania? Uh, Army of Pennsylvania, let's move you down a little more. Custer's Army, let's drive you down a little more. What do we got here? Looks like some of the Confederates are having supply issues. Grant, we'll have you come down the road a little more. We're just going to keep pushing the Confederates. We're going to keep pushing them until, well, I don't know if we'll get to, until we get to Richmond. If Richmond falls, the war might be over. The enemy morale is getting pretty damn low. They're down to 43%. They're losing cities left and right. They've lost so many battles. They've lost way more men than us. Uh, we've lost... 87,000 men in the war. We're, that's really bad, admittedly, a lot. But they've lost 189,000 men. Just way more than twice the losses we've suffered. Yeah, Harney, when morning comes, keep chasing the Missouri State Guard. They're probably out of supply. Oop, as Grant advances, the enemy is retreating from him. That is a massively good sign for us. How big is the army of Georgia here? Only 12,000 strong? Alright, Grant, you keep pushing down. We're going to have the army of DC push down this way. We'll have the army of Pennsylvania go a little fur further forward. Uh, Custer, you head towards the army of DC. Start to see what's around Richmond. Might have to worry a little bit if they try and go up and around. That could be a little problematic. But they are all just running from Grant as fast as they can. You know, Army of Pennsylvania, you follow Grant... And then Grant, just keep going this way. And then Dutton, uh, once you halt, halt. We can always send you back up to DC if we have to. I'm a little leery about all of these armies going this way. But the road to Richmond might be w wide open. I think I'm going to have to end the episode here. I, I don't want to get too excited. We're going to send Patterson towards Richmond with Custer right next to him. As all these Confederate armies are moving east and they're pretty beat up right now, we might have a chance to go take Richmond and end the war. Either way, I'll see y'all next time when we see what we can do about that without hopefully letting them up into D.C. or anything.